what am I going to do for the next 36 seconds? The music, the music stopped too early. <laughs> oh God, no. Luckily, I'm a professional. I'm trained for these things. Right, here we go. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my last vlog of the year. Um, <laughs> one of the few vlogs I did this year, uh, strangely enough. We'll get into that later on. Uh, but it is half past seven, shed time. Uh, I was uh, forced to have a shave and put a shirt on by my good lady before I came out. So, um, yes, there we go. We'll say no more. Um, obviously, there are... There are people in chat, which is most unusual. Um, and <laughs> you don't want to hear me singing, trust me. Um, oh my God, is that the real Michael Cowan? Huge fan. Please, please, n don't fanboy out just because your favourite mod maker is in chat. Especially if that mod maker is American and... Um, and is a cheeky bastard. <laughs> but anyway, you know I love you. Uh, right. Um, thank you all for uh, <laughs> thank you all for coming along. Uh, as always, with any live video or stream that I do or any video I do, full stop. Uh, this is not rehearsed. This is not scripted. I I don't know what direction I'm going in. There is nothing to get your knickers in a twist here. Um, we don't do drama. We don't care how you might like drama, but we don't do drama, or I don't do drama, and and I'm driving. So, my rules: uh, piss taking, having a laugh, and all that jazz, as always, is is acceptable, as long as it's not put in my general direction. Um, it is a little bit cloudy in here. I apologise uh, because I was I was having a good old vape before we got going. Um, I will say uh, what what we'll do now is I will just say that tonight tonight I'm vaping on this. This is my new toy. This this arrived from Sub Monkey uh, Francisco, uh, which is squonking is alive. You heard it here. 2021 is the year of the squonker. Trust me, I know about these things. But this is, I'll just give you a quick, a quick kick, a quick kick at this. Um, that, that, he's got a die codes in that. And it's absolutely tiny, uh, absolutely tiny. Uh, what I, I'm, I'm literally blown away by the, I'm actually blown away by the fact that I couldn't figure out how to get into the thing. But single 18650, decent sized bottle, um, and it's an absolute stunner. It, it really is. And I, I keep putting the door, see, there we go. We've started already. I've not even put the door on properly. But there we go, yes. Uh, so that's the, is it the MK hashtag 60 by Submonkey out of Italy. And on top of it is the, the Leon. RDA. Some say there may even be some of these still in stock at Vapor Bay. I don't know. Uh, Rick Martin, there is zero pot. <laughs> Shut up. Um, it, 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 excuse me if I uh, should I go through chat? I mean, there's this. Hello, everybody that's in chat. Um, I mean, if you really feel the need to tell me what you're vaping on tonight, what you had for your dinner, and um, how your Christmas was, then feel free, just go for it. Or we could all just call Simon all of our names for pointing out the fact that um, I'm not a Die Codes fan. Uh, Alex McKenzie saying that uh, there's only a couple of Leons left <laughs> in Vapor Bay. This vlog is not sponsored by Vapor Bay. I don't actually like Lloyd that much. Alex is kind of okay. Um, I love Lloyd. Uh, it's really Alex I don't like. 
So that's what I've been vaping away with today. I have some uh, JD and Coke, obviously. Um, that was uh, too much JD in there. Um, so how are we going to do this? I had thought I was going to do uh, plan this all out and talk about the year that's gone and um, see all the good things, the bad things and, and let's face it, 2020 was pretty shit and that's that, done, dusted, we've got that out of the way, we don't have to talk about it anymore, who wants to? We don't need to talk about politics, we don't need to talk about Covid, we don't need to talk about any of that shit because this is a vaping channel and you didn't come here to listen to any of that crap. Uh, what we're going to talk about is pretty much the... <laughs> this is, is this a bit narcissistic? It might be a bit. So I get gear in as the year goes on. And you all know this. I get tanks, mods, atties, all the gear. Um, I review it. Some of it I give away. Some of it I sell. Some of it goes up for charity. And... Um, there you go. What's Chris Bishop? Why are you subbing me in at Todd's reviews? There we go. So anyway, so so that's that. Now, I'll, some people seem to think that I keep everything, um, and and they ask me a question five years after I've reviewed something. How are you getting on with this mod? Well, I hate to break this to you, but I don't. Um, what tend to happen? Is, usually happens is that I'll get a mod in okay uh, so here we go we have this beautiful jelly fish bean thing um, that I will be reviewing now I could say that this is one of the best mods that you can buy on the market right now but I may not like it and because I don't like it which doesn't mean it's a bad mod it's still a great mod, say, but because I personally don't like it, I'll let it go. So at the end of the year, I only have so many mods and atties left. Um, I hope that makes sense. Um, can you be a Billy Bragg in Christmas? Day? Billy Bragg? Billy Bragg? Seriously? Oh, no. No. Um... Rebuildable Rind, we will actually be talking about the, the best of, because there was a, a vote in the, the Shed Facebook group, which, it's not, it's my name in the door, but it's not really my group as such, uh, well, no it's not, and uh, there was a vote in there, so uh, I'll let you know what came out tops, um, so there you go, I'll, I'll tell you that, I, I do plan to get to that bit. <laughs> Um, it's only a small shed you gave away your heart no I didn't give away my heart right I'm not going to go through everything in one go because that would be really boring um, and I'm not going to dwell on stuff uh, unless you ask but what we'll start off with is the squonkers now squonkers for 2020 what happened? What did people forget? How good squonking is? It it just squonking and RDAs in general. Just there was so few came. I'm not saying there wasn't a lot made, but what I saw for review was so small. There was so there was hardly anything. So um, like I'll I'll show you what I kept. Once again, this is what I like. Doesn't necessarily mean that everything that went was shit. It just wasn't for me, for various reasons. So, um, what do I need? I need this button here. There we go. Just in case you were wondering, this is the, the rear floor mat for an Audi TT Roadster. Actually, you know, uh, an Audi TT Roadster doesn't have rear seats. 
so you don't need floor mats. But they, they make a very good backdrop. Um, there we go. Right. So, here we go. Uh, squonkers, what did I get? Right. Uh, this is one I paid for. Uh, I, I, I asked young Dayan at uh, Limelight Mechanics to make me a regulated freehand, and he did. And he sent me one like this, and he also sent me another one, which was a DNA 75C, which I still have. Uh, but that was one of the squonkers I got for myself this year. Um, because I really like it. I like... F no, no. Don't tell him. I really like Limelight. They are great guy. And, um... Uh, but, uh, yes. So that's number one. Put that to one side. Put that there. Uh, another one. Here we go. This one, um, excuse me while I just wipe all the dust off of it. Um, just, yep, yeah, just wipe the dust. This is, the, <laughs> what's this called again? Uh, the Cain Canyon. Can, can, uh, born in the Man Cave. Born in the Man Cave. Uh, our Tim, our young Tim. Uh, for those of you that remember, uh, where is it? Remember, um, this is, young Tim used to make stuff like this. He used to make stuff like this. And now he's making stuff like this, uh, which I really, really like. Tim's, he's sound as a pound, very nice guy. Uh, and I kept this because, um, well, because it's pretty much I keep all his stuff. Uh, because he's 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 a good lad, and and I like taking the piss out of him, because he takes the piss back. Uh, what else did we have? Uh, this I kept this, the Armor Mech V2. Uh, I had a V1. I've had a couple of V1s. Uh, this one I kept because Darren said that he would kick me in the balls if I didn't keep it, so that's why I've kept it. Do you know, I, you can't fault the branding and everything and whatnot on this, but the, the juice capacity was uh, it's just a, a letdown for me. But the actual mod itself, I do like and I do use, and, and that's why I've kept it. Um, more squonkers. Um, I actually kept this just because I liked it. Uh, I've, I've got the Titanium 21700. Uh, by Half Skull Mods which I'll be giving away next year that'll be going into one of the charity pots but I'm, I'm going to keep the 18650 because I think he did a really nice job in it and uh, and it, and, it, and also it it really upsets Karen whenever we go out and I take this and I use it because she says I look like a well she says I look like something we'll not mention what I look like um, the other one that came in this year um, is this wee guy from uh, a BVB an OLS uh, what was this one called was this the one this had a name uh, it was the one I'm sure it was uh, who's if you want to sleep with me on my big house you're welcome my friend well that's an offer that a lot of people in here may take you up on but um, yeah you can go away uh, so this was um, from BVB so Jamie as always and young Todd the <sighs> beautiful mod uh, there's not much I have to say to this because I actually own most of the BVB mods uh, because I was I really like them you can see that I'm getting into a lot of detail here I really like it what else can I tell you uh, now Aside from that, 2020, the only other squonkers, and, and I bought I bought these second hand, and this one was given to me by a, a very sexy young man. Uh, you would, he's not young, he's actually about 70 years old. He just looks younger than he actually is. But, uh, so these are all crit squonkers, um, and I really like these squonkers because the firing button placement for there and there is so good and they're really, really comfortable to be. Big fan. Big, big, huge fan of these squonkers. Um, 
Uh, J J L says it's a vorb fish. I actually think you're wrong. I I I would go as far to say that it's not the vorb, because the vorb the vorb never had a button like that at the top. Did it? It didn't. I'm almost positive that it wasn't the vorb. I've got two vorbs in the house. I've got two vorbs in the house. Um, see, now, now you've now you've started it. Now I have to go and check. Now I have to go and check, which is is just this is just this embarrasses you. It embarrasses me. Embarrasses me more than you, uh, or the other way around. It wasn't the one. Ah, oh, shit, I'm wrong. Ah, fuck. The one, the one. See, why did I open my mouth? Why did I open my mouth? Why couldn't I just shut up? Um, there we go. That was the one. But it was the same button. It was the same button. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make up suitable excuses now as to why I was wrong. But it's just that simple. I was wrong. I'm fucking a South African. Imagine letting a South African get one up in you. He'll never shut up now. That'll be it. Um... Jesus, I love the one left. I have it in my hands. <laughs> Thank you once again for fixing that. Um, you need spanners. I need spanners. I do have spanners. Um, but the thing is, they're probably all away having, getting on with their day, having a real life. Uh, you can use your one Google. You want to sleep in my house? Uh, Anglerfish, the Bass Pro, no. Uh, no, just start again. Dennis! Dennis! <laughs> GL, you beautiful South African, you can get pumped. Dennis, you saved my day. Dennis saves the day yet again. Uh, I'd just like to point out that it's the one, but with a vorb fish sleeve. <laughs> oh, put it on the right way. So it is the one. So, um, I was I was fifty percent right. I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, I don't have any spanners. The only spanner that I have usually is is Dean, but Dean will be doing something more constructive with his time. Um, <laughs> Fake. <laughs> right, so that was all the squonkers. But like I said, it was so, so quiet for squonkers. Um, I, I'll pop one last one in. Um, this is the only mechanical mod that I kept from the year as well. It's the only one I kept. Um, the method. It, it, which, a 21700 mech. Really unusual for me, but it, it, it's the only one from this year. One mech mod from the entire year. How strange. That is so weird. How times have changed. How times have changed. Um, right. Uh, just uh, I'm, I'm just going to drop this in here just because... Um, it has to be said. I know I've said it a million times already, uh, but um, and, and stick with me. If I open all these three in a new window, for those that are interested, this year that is just going out, uh, you, 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 all you guys uh, and ladies, guys and girls, uh, raised an awful lot of money for charity. It was, as the year is finishing, it's not far off £28,000. In the Shed Facebook group, we had another uh, vote, and we voted in 
three new charities for 2021. So these are the charities that we will be donating to as the year goes on. Uh, the first one was for Little Angels Service Dogs, um, which is predominantly an American thing. And this pains me because we all know, yeah, Americans. I mean, come on. Anyway, um, we're going to be donating a lot of money to the, uh, which I'm very happy about. So Little Angel Service Dogs was the first one. The second one was for the RNLI, the Royal National Lifeboat Institution, which, um, yes, there's another one. And the next one was for uh, Children with Cancer, UK. So these are the three charities that we will be donating to next year. Yes. And, and thank you. Thank you in advance. Is, is there, is there, is there more, um, is, is there more idiots uh, posting? Sorry, I'm just seeing my, um, you're well, yeah, okay. Sorry. I thought somebody was kicking off in chat. Um, yes. So it's, I, I, I do harp on about it, but it's, it's one of the, proudest things I do uh, yes or I'm involved with uh, I don't do it I'm just involved with it so there we go that's the charity stuff um right what we can also do since we're here uh, we are going to go into <laughs> we're going to pop into my Todd's reviews Facebook page and we're going to search for a post that I made. This one, this one's going to just. This one might hurt, a little bit. Actually, this one will probably hurt a lot. Right. Um, can I open this up as a word document? I might just open it as a word document. That'll be easy. Okay. So 2020. Um, we had a vote in the shed Facebook group where you got to vote for your favorite bridge or anything that went inside a borrow tank type thing, or you could use in a billet box, those kind of devices, your favorite squonker, your regulated mod, your RDA and your RTA. We didn't make it complicated or fussy. We just went for the, the basics. So, um, the bridge, um, number one was the dot shell, followed by the XOV2, followed, followed by the V snail. Um, the dot shell and the vape snail, the, the V2, the XOV2, I've, I've never owned. I've never owned. I don't know if it's any good or not. Um, so... Oh, there's John Kloss. You can um, bog off as well. Yeah, if you see a troll coming in, just ignore them. Um, Or if anybody wants to be a spanner, just let me know, and I'll uh, and I'll just make you a spanner, and you can start deleting folk, and you can mute Chris Bishop, or I could make Chris Bishop a moderator. That would be really strange. Uh, right, Squonker, the best Squonker, as voted by the Shed Group in 2020, was the Mr. Moxon's SVBM. Um, that came in at number one. The Hellfire SSB came in at number two. And the Callan by Born in the Man Cave came in at number three. All cracking squonkers. All very good. And um, and well done, Tim, for coming in at uh, number three. Uh, well done. Um, I don't mean that in a derogatory term. I just mean because he's just a little bitty modder. And, um, and, and he did really well coming in at that. Um, <laughs> right, 
right. You may, you may, I can't, I can't make Chris Bishop a troll. I can't make Chris Bishop a, a moderator. Chris Bishop is now a moderator for the channel. So, Chris, if anybody gives Griff, you just click on the three dots beside the comment and put them in a timeout. That's all you have to do. Put them in a timeout. Um, right. Regulated mod. Oh, Jesus. Wet. <sighs> In no particular order. Regulated mod. Oh, who am I kidding? Regulated mod. The Hummingbird Mods Shift came out as the favourite. Followed by the Tech Division Evo. Followed by the Limelight Wicket. Congratulations to all that came in the top three, even if you are American and called Michael. Um, <laughs> Chris. <laughs> okay. Chris Bishop is maybe just going a little bit crazy. Um, so we're removing his moderator status. We're removing it. Um, we'll, we'll just, we just, I'm sorry, but he just, he got carried away. He got carried away. Uh, right. Uh, the RDA as voted for was uh, number one was the AB mods Leon. The Leon RDA, as I'm vaping with just now. The second one was by Young Tad, and it was the Norsium Strybog, which I have here. Um, and <laughs> the next one was the Nar Mods 5A, or the fifth anniversary that came in as third. Um, so well done to, well done to all of them, but I mean to Gus and Tad. The new and I mean, new guys on the scene this year, pretty much. They've been around for a while, but then uh, you to be voted in at the top in a little group is is really good, uh, right? And the RTA, um, the RTA, um, I just like to point out there's there's a lot of Greek people in my group. Um, a lot of Greek people, and, and I'm not saying that they don't play the game fairly, uh, but I think there was a lot of duplicate votes went in here because for some reason, um, the Imperia uh, by by yeah the Imperia won. What can I say? I mean there are other atties available, and uh, but uh, the Imperia won by quite a substantial amount. Um, and um, second and third place, because it was a tie, was the Har RTA by MT Essentials and Van and Dell, and also the KWH mods uh, Dwarf FL. So um, there you go, there you go. Obviously, I'm demanding a recount. I've um, I've applied for a recount across the board, uh, and and we shall wait and see, because um, what fuck can I say? I'm gutted, absolutely gutted. Um, actually, it's not all bad because I still beat the scrape arise. I I'm happy with that. I can take that as long as I beat Chris. That that'll do me. That'll do me fine. Um, <laughs> only joking. It was all good fun, and thank you to everybody that voted. Uh, and that is what all these things are about. There is nothing serious about them. It is all good fun. Uh, but congratulations to everybody that won. Um, and obviously, 
unless you're American and called Michael. Um, we are not that happy for you. <laughs> um, the arse, not the rise. The Imperia is just a beast. The Imperia is, is a superb atty. It is. Uh, right. Um, so, uh, let's get on with this. I'm going to whiz through the regulated mods that I kept for this year. Um, I'm going to keep as fast as I can. We're just going to whiz through them. Um, and the vlog is muted now. <laughs> And uh, we're making uh, Mr. Blizzard is is now a moderator for chat. He knows what he's doing. He's done it before. Right, let's go for it. Uh, so once again, these are just the mods that I kept because I like them for various reasons. It doesn't mean the ones that went away weren't any good. I just preferred these ones, and it's that simple. It's that simple. Um, <laughs> Pam, not everybody thinks the Imperia is a great RTA and that is their right everybody is entitled to their opinion um, here we go right, let's do this quickly so, uh, as you all know according to some people there is no such thing as a high-end mod out of China <gasps> where did this mod come from? China! Um, yes, this is the F from F Mods, and this is uh, absolutely bloody glorious. Um, the actual the system that is used for the battery tube and whatnot in this and putting it together, I love this mod. I decided to keep it. I think it's done very, very well. And anybody that tells you that something can't be something because it comes out of a certain country is a oh I can't even say it it's just a yeah anyway so that's that I kept that from if mods out of China China Hong Kong who cares who cares um this one this one was a present from from a bloke that has supported me and my channel <laughs> supported me and tip channel for a very long time and he is somebody I consider a friend and yeah this th this was a present from I can't remember his name it's totally gone out of my head sorry Rob I'm only kidding uh, Rob from Steam Island uh, this is by Russ Mod uh, single 18650 it's a tiny wee thing and yes, I, I this this was a gift. So this is why I keep this. Um, so there we go. I I just like to say, you know, Steam Island. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. Not like Vapor Bay, who send you sweeties and squeaky toys. This is how you do it. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, we have the. The Wicket. Uh, this is the Wicket. This is a superb mod. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not going to gush because if you've got a Wicket, you know all about it. The fact that you can change out the board yourself with a screwdriver is just superb. I mean, the design in this, the Custom 510, uh, uh, yes. Superb mod. Superb. Um... The guy that makes it is a bloody idiot, though. Uh, one that I've kept that... Um, <laughs> one that I've kept that uh, some people don't like. I do. I do. Um, the Sudab by uh, No Name. With the, the halo on top of it. It's, I just find it's very art deco. It's very retro. I think I just love the look of it. And I'm not going to apologise for liking something as much as I do. Uh, but there we go. Kept that. 
next. Um, the Midas by Metal Madness Vapors, without a doubt, is one of the ugliest mods I've seen this year. <laughs> It really is. And I keep it to remind myself that... Uh, no, I'm only kidding. Uh, when I saw these when they came out in Delrin, I thought they were disgusting. Uh, one of the ugliest mods of the year for me. Uh, but with the stab wood, uh, with the wood and the black tube, it's still not the bonniest. It's not the best looking mod in the market, but damn, it's comfortable. Very comfortable to vape with. Um... And, and plus, uh, yes, there we go. Was that, what did I say, was it the Midas? Yes, it's the Midas. Um, this one from Cranium, uh, I kept because I, the board that's inside this is really, <laughs> it's really weird. Uh, it's got a lot of functionality to it and I like that. And the seashell thing going on with the mod and just, the Cranium guys, they did a mod for me last year, uh, a Phoenix one, which was absolutely stunning. Uh, it's one of my favourite mods. That's why I've kept this, and and it, and it, and it's it's just a, a great mod. It's really really good. Um, so that's one and another one. Um, we're now on to. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh my god! No, this is the this is the Pixis, uh, by Tippy Mods, and I, I I'm, I'm I love this mod for different reasons. Um, one, I love this combo. This color combo. I have a couple of other mods in the the house that have the same combo, but this is just gorgeous and. And the fact that Aiden actually he went in and, and he put in a DNA sixty and he put in the USB and all the rest of it. Um it's a superb mod. And I wish more people gave him the credit that he's due because he's a very, very talented guy. Very talented. And uh, and he sends me crisps. Crisps. So there we go. Um, another one I've kept mainly because I love this stainless steel plate at the front I love the dust catchers on the back once again it's very for me art deco -y type uh, but uh, this will be going in a charity raffle in the new year uh, and, and only because of that I, I, I really dislike this on here. I know that if you if you buy one of these, a custom one, um you could you don't have to have that, but the review item I got obviously does have it. I love the mod, I think it's done really well, but uh, yes, this will be going up for a charity raffle. Uh, this one will be going up for a charity raffle as well. Um I do like the mod. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about it was that it had a, uh, um, it's got dirt on it. Sorry, it's got a slight lip on the 510 that raises it, which I don't like. But um, El Cigart, I think they've they, they did a good job on this one. I think they did a good, job. and it looks this combo with the battery tube and the engraving is, it's a it's a cracker. Uh, it really is nice. But uh, this one will be going for a charity raffle as well. Uh, and the last regulated modish mod I got this year was from Young Victor. And um, I absolutely adore this mod. It's 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 a stunner, um, and he's a very 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 good guy that uh, supports the charity stuff. Uh, and yeah just Vulcan go and check them out um, this is a superb mod it really is uh, and 
the last one that doesn't really fit into a category that I got this year was that. Um, this was a, a present from Justin. Um, obviously, you know the Delro. Uh, this is my my other Delro. Uh, this one, we gave one away in a charity raffle at the end of the year. Which raised, <laughs> raised so much money. What was it? 2,700 or something? It was crazy. Uh, but this one, um, and for me, once again, this is my tastes. My my tastes. Um, it's not because it's the best mod. It's not because of anything. It's just because I personally really, really like this. And, and it's my most used mod. The Delro, going back over the past couple of years now, easily the most used mod I have. Um, and um, and the strange thing is that all the bridges are gone. Now, now um, I consider a bridge a bridge for me is something that enables you to use uh, a pre-made coil, um, whereas an RBA is something completely different. Uh, so for me, I, I just use the EU. I still use the EUC coils in my Delro and so on. I, I love the 0 0.5 ohm ceramic. Um, it's just it's my preferred vape. So there we go. That's all that jazz. Um, right. Talking too long. Um, do you know I completely forgot? I completely forgot. Um, where is it? I asked for questions. We're going to do. We're going to run through some questions really quickly uh, because I put a link out and said to people, uh, "Yeah, just go and um, if you have any questions you want to ask, then uh, ask away." And uh, I completely forgot about them. That was really bad. Uh, so, let's open this up. And um, I, I don't, and oh, Jesus, wet. Okay, there's a hundred questions. I can't answer a hundred questions. Because I've got still got so much to go through, so what we're going to do is we'll go through some of them. I'll have a quick s scan through, and 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 hopefully that's all right. If if you sent a question on, uh, I'm really sorry if I if I haven't answered if I don't answer it, uh, because there was um, quite a lot there. Um, right, <laughs> God. Laurie Anderson asks, what exactly would you say qualifies a device to be considered high-end other than price? Easy answer for me, that one. Hi, I don't like the term high-end. Um, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with something being classed as high-end. What grinds my gears is people that use the term high-end to make out like they have something that is better than anything else. High end for a lot of people is a badge that is worn to just say, "Look at the shit I've got. I'm I'm better than you." Hence the reason that I hate with a passion the term high end. Um, premium products, well made, um, cottage, boutique, uh, all these terms I like. And to be honest, it, it, who who gives a shit? <laughs> Seriously. You buy what you can afford. As long as it takes a battery, it's got a 510 and you can vape on it. Great. That's all that matters. I, hand on heart, do not give a shit how much anybody spends on the gear they have. As long as they're not ramming it down my throat, we'll get on just fine. I don't know if that answers the question. Because I just went off on a little rant there. Um, <laughs> Sorry. I've just seen another question. 
Um, handcrafted. There we go. There, there's handcrafted, but it's um. I, yeah, that that is something we could actually dedicate an entire live stream around. Is what is a premium product? You know what is a premium product? Um. So there we go. Uh right. Sorry. Um. No, no, I've got a question here from. Um, <laughs> not kidding. I've got a question here from Vic Mullen. Uh, how does it feel being number two? <laughs> a question from Young Mike Davis. Uh, would you rather spend an hour in a locked room with McDonough or Vic Mullen? If I stop asking stupid questions, can I have the Nostromo mod? No to both of them, Mr. Davies. Um, what would your chosen weapon be in a zombie apocalypse? Um, a strong door. Uh, I'm trying to, um, Josh is asking for the top three RSAs of all time. I'm really sorry, but I don't do lists as such. I'm not a fan of them uh, for different reasons. Um, Laz Louie asks, how does the Narda still compare to all these new kids on the block for you? That's a very good question. Um, five years ago, the Narda came out and it was the king. For me, personally, I thought it was superb. I still have two Nardas to this day. Uh, one being the one that I got and um, the prototype. No, I gave the prototype away. I got another one uh, that Narag sent on. Um, today, it's still a good RDA, but there are so many good RDAs. I, I'm being for me, the Narda is one of my favourites. I keep it by choice because I like it and I like Narig and I like the fact that it was I always have a soft spot for it but I'm not that stupid that I think it's still the king because it set a benchmark that everybody came along and, and basically met some people made it easier followed the same thing they made it easier to put a coil in but still get great flavour um, it's a great RDA it's still a great RDA and it's one of my faves but it's in no way is it I wouldn't pay more than retail for it it's that simple but then again I wouldn't pay more than retail for anything um, right where else have we got I'm just going to quick look at chat uh, quality materials for uh, premium products yes I would agree with that as well um, RC McCall Mark got the sub box and the ether RTA want a har can you tell me if the har fully open is similar restriction to the ether RTA can't remember Mr RC McCall uh, did I review the ether I can't remember Sorry. Um, going back to chat. Uh, Will 2021 from Shane uh, bring us the Har RDA? No, it won't. There will be no Har RDA in 2021. Um, the Naria. Uh, the Naria. The Naria. The Naria was very different. Very different airflow to the Narda and the Narca. I think that caught a lot of people out. Um, Al Hancock, any plans on releasing a mod? Maybe. There might be in 2021. Uh, we've still to decide what we're going to do. Um, still to decide. Um, Chris Bishop wants to know, why won't you let me win free shit? Because you're ginger and you're Welsh. That's it. Sorry, it's, I'm a, I'm, I'm, yes, I have a thing about gingers, Welsh people. Really sorry. 
Um, Charlie and Owen Yan says, can you show us more about the Skyline R? We did a review for that. Favourite juice of the year? Um, from Mr. Murthy. Uh, Favourite juice of the year? Oh, I've not really vaped any new juices this year that have blown my socks off. I tend to vape the same stuff time and time again. Um, I obviously do have my preferred juices. I've never... God, don't let... I can't say this because... If he, if he finds out I said this, he'll just be insufferable. <sighs> Nobody tell him, please. McDermott's Jedi's Punk RMVC is one of my favourite vanilla custards. I really like it a lot and it's probably the juice I've vaped the most this year. Damn it. Nobody tell him. Um, uh, the ether is Bogan's mouth to lung DTL RTA and you did review it. Thank you very much, Adrian, as always, for keeping me on my toes. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to say this on a side note. Adrian, um, never change. Put your comments in in YouTube videos the way you always do because it always wakes me up. Because I always sit here and I read the comments and I go, that guy's just been an arsehole. But I know you're not. It's just the way you type your replies and your comments. So if I'm being cheeky when I reply to you, I don't mean to be. I'm just having a laugh with you, mate. Uh, but thank you for the comments that you do put under the videos. I do appreciate it. Um... Jesus, there's so many questions. Um, which chipset says uh, MD for Zeal Rabbi? Rabbi, I've got that wrong. Uh, I know I have. Which chipset is better between the Dicos DNA or DNA C board? Don't avoid the question, please. Um, as a simple, for me, I'm, I'm not talking about reviewing, I'm talking about as of me being a vapor. Um, which chipset is best? They're, for me, they're all the same. Uh, it's the simple answer. I have die codes, DNAs, DNA Cs. As long as I can set my wattage and vape, I'm happy. I, I, that's me. I'm a very simple, I'm a simple vapor. Um, my days of getting into TCRs and, you know, going into Wire Wizard and Custom and all that kind long gone not interested in that for my personal use anymore um, if I had to go out and buy one it would depend on the person uh, it would really depend on the person uh, I, personally I would say for somebody getting into that I think the DNA C boards are more intuitive more user friendly the die codes are for the tinkerer and the DNA 60s and whatnot are for people that just like to and go. That's it. Just push a button and go. Um, oh, that's good. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I can just imagine him standing on the table in his living room giving it that. Uh Martin, you review so many mods and atties, but which ones do you use regularly that are really too good not to use? Um, that's what I'm doing here, is showing you the mods that I do use. Um, and this is going to go on for about three hours at this rate. Shit, I... I... <sighs> Bugger. Um, going down questions. Um, Mr. Arcee McHole. <laughs> Yeah, you're missing any of the UK Vape Expos this year. I want Vape Fest back. Never been to an expo, but love Vape Fest. Ah, oh, Christ, I would give my... any testicle to go to a vape event. That was the hardest thing for me this year, was not going to haul a vape 
or there not being a hall of vape it just sucked so badly uh, it was just so depressing I so hope that things get back to normal and we have expos and meets but who knows who knows what's going to happen um, right I'll come back to questions there's, there's so many questions Mick Blizzard has just put in a question saying what time is it thank you Mick <laughs> I'm trying to think who Mr McHole is there's there's a, a short list of who it could be um, anyway there we go right I need a vape talk amongst yourselves whilst I, I, I vape on something and, and have a little drink of my juice. Uh, no, I don't think Mr. Hayes would have me on um, In The Mines. Um, thank God. Seriously, I would... No, I'm not going to go there. No drama. Uh, moving on, let's talk about something worthwhile. Um, so, side by side, side by side mods. Um, <coughs> twenty twenty, just can went a bit nuts, didn't it? I remember um, a young American at the start of the year. Um, <laughs> uh, setting up a Facebook group, uh, side by side mods, and I, and I plugged it a couple of times and. I just thought he was rather annoying and I hoped he would go away. Little did I know he would end up making a mod and, and win an award in my own Facebook group. God damn it. Anyway, side by side mods. Here we go. Do you want to see some? Here are the ones that I kept from this year. Um, camcorder. This one I just reviewed not long ago. This is made by a man in Scotland. This is made by... Uh, Pa this is made from pallets uh, that are used in a local fish warehouse. He cuts them up and uh, makes a mod. No, he doesn't. This is a this is a beautiful mod. It's, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. The ori or the orvi or whatever you want to call it. Um, a Herbie did a superb job in this. It's as simple as that. Uh, and I love it to bits. And I will keep this for a very very long time. Uh, that's the first one. Uh, the second one was the one that has no name um, by Art and Mod. Um, this is such a beautiful, 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 beautiful mod. Uh, this really is. This just this buffalo here. Th did you see the did one? The, they had the buffalo horn, but the whole thing was buffalo, and it was stunning. Um, Yes, there was a couple of things I didn't like about it, but um, it's one I will keep because it's gorgeous. So, there's that one. I have uh, this one. This one is made by a, a young man in Athens who, to be fair, he's, he's not quite the full shilling. He's, um, I don't know what the term is. I think it's I don't know if we're allowed to say special needs anymore, but it's made by Greg. Greg's 73 years old, and, and he likes to make things from wood. And this is one of the things he made. It's um, the cryptic. Obviously, it doesn't use the industry standard 24 millimeter, you know, size in there. You can only put into a 23 millimeter atty in there. And this obviously upsets some people. Oh, shit, Greg's here. <laughs> I can't believe it. I was so enjoying myself slagging you off. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's alright. It's alright. He's not a bad lad. And um, and if it was... Uh, yeah, if it was cold and it was a dark room, then I probably would. But there we go. There's the cryptic. <laughs> Uh, here we have the the Danny the Danny side by side uh, <laughs> the Danny side by side 
I've got a 22 mil cup on there. Uh, I bought this one. Um, I'll probably never get round to reviewing it, but it's um, it's a bloody good mod. Totally soulless uh, for me. Uh, it has no soul. It's built like a brick shit house. It will work forever. It will never let you down. It will look good, but it's just for me. It's a bit of a it's just a bit soulless, that, and, but that's just me. Um, we then have one of my favourites. Uh, this is one of my favourites. I, 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 this is the Alu uh, Masky Thingamabobber Mask 60. And I, 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 Francesco, I think, has done such a beautiful job in this. I love it absolutely love it um it, it's just uh no i was going to get into it but i won't uh yes so that's one of my faves um we are also here we go here's one from milo um uh, obviously milo tech division um who can forget milo and tech division they've dominion from years ago side by sides have been around for a very very long time uh, but um, obviously this was this was the horizon. Sorry, uh, the Evo was um, you know this bit slid up and down, so this was the horizon. Um, the other one from Tech Division, I made this myself. Yes, I did. I made this one. Um, I assembled this, uh, and I was very proud of the fact that I managed to do it. So there we go, and uh, and and that's it for the the side by sides. Didn't have any other side by side mods this year. None that I'm keeping. I'm just going to sit here and mind my business for a few minutes, and then we'll move on to something else. But it definitely won't be any more side by side mods. I can tell you that now. it still works of course it still works um, <laughs> right here we go I can hear him I can hear him crying there was also this one that was made at some point this year by young Michael in his bedroom with um, an Anet A8 3D printer. Uh, this was his first first go, and he did a wonderful job. Well done, Michael. We're very proud of you. <laughs> Credit where credit's due. Um, it's a. Uh, I'm not going to say it because he'll just. I can just see him sitting there going, "Say more, say more nice things about me." You know I like it. I'll leave it at that. That was the mod that won best mod, uh, best uh, regulated mod. Uh, the Shift by Hummingbird Mods. You also get the Shift Plus, which is a 21700. Um, Gareth Lynn. Uh, the Patty Ballum is one of my favourite artists from Mendel and Hummingbird. Okay. Uh, Aquasi Smith, do you still have your elemental mods? The squonker. I still have the squonker. The 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 black and purple one. Yeah. Uh, oh, that'll. But this is just mods from 2020. It's just mods from 2020. Um. So. Uh, did they, <laughs> then we'll run away after it was printed. Um. That that's it for the mods. No. No, we're going to stop. We're going to... Because I do use them. And I'm not going to make out like I don't use them. I'm not going to do all this... Uh, oh, I only vape posh shit all day thing. I don't. Uh, I, I vape lots of gear. Uh, the following gear is is stuff that I... When I run out the house, um, I'm going out with the dog or I'm 
buggering about in the driveway or whatnot. It's um, it's stuff like this that I use. Um, so these, um, I, I know they get a lot of flack and all the rest of it. Not everybody loves them. I do. Uh, I think the the little hero is my preferred weapon of choice now, um, just because I like the the top airflow. It's a lot better. I do find that these get a little bit leaky through here, uh, but that's the that was the boost plus, wasn't it? And that was the hero. So great mods, absolutely brilliant mods. Good at what they do. Um, also, this was another one I kept from this year that I like to use, was the Oxfa. Um, it's all in the review. Another, it's a pod system, but it's a pod system that works very well. Um, this one, if I'm wanting to go for a tighter draw, the Scepter by Inikin. Um This one, another one from Inikin, the Chroma R. Uh, I'm actually using it with the 510 adapter plate in it just now, but you know, obviously I can pop that out and I can ah, No, I'll break it. I haven't broken anything tonight, have I? Nah, best not. Uh, so obviously you can use pods in this as well, but the, the Chroma R I really liked as well. Uh, I like the firing button on it. Um, and the strange, strange one that I can't believe I like but um, yeah, the the Ursa with this big hoofing RTA tank on it uh, is is brilliant, and <laughs> it it doesn't work anymore because I think I've just broken it. Oh no, there we go. Um, <laughs> <it's> just <laughs> work work, damn it! Don't embarrass me now. Uh, so there we go. Um, there were the the cheapy cheapy mods, the cheaper stuff. I, I do have. There's a couple of things that I've not mentioned to, that I've got to review. Um, the only one that I'll be keeping that you may be interested in was obviously the this wee guy here by the maker. Um, this uh, obviously this is HRB uh, Andorian uh, Rosewood Burrell, uh, a little DNA sixty. Um, I, 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 this is such a comfortable little mod. This we've got a little a hoolet, as we like to call them here, a little hoolet. Um, and and yes, but there'll be a review for that in the new year. Um, Roman. Did you go through the questions? I'm trying to go through the questions, but um, we're, we're kind of... Um, yeah, I've gone through... I've already done a full Bissardo, and I'm absolutely knackered. Uh, absolutely knackered. I need more booze already. Oh, that's brilliant. Um... Let's, um, questions. No. Whilst I'm feeling in a good mood and um, saying nice things about other people, also called Michael an American, um, I could not do what I do um, if it wasn't for Right, it's, it's, what is it, symbiotic relationship type thing? People send me mods, I do reviews, and then that's it. That's how it works. Or, sometimes, not as much now, granted, uh, sometimes I buy mods and I do reviews. Some buy, I buy tanks and do reviews from sometimes they're sent on. But um, there is a relationship there. Uh, the relationship with many modders over the years has deteriorated and and gone south very quickly. Some modder, modders um, are just as crazy as they were when I first met them many, many years ago. Uh, the short and sweet version is thank you, T. 
to the mod makers, the vendors like Steam Island and Vapor Bay and uh, these guys and I couldn't do this without them. But I just want to say thank you to the ones that continue to send me gear even though I give negative feedback, constructive feedback. And it doesn't matter how negative I am, um, they will still continue to send me gear to review. And I just wanted to say thank you uh, to them. And also to the ones that send me gear specifically for charity raffles. Um, we raise a shit ton of money and 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 it just used to be me giving away gear that I had got for review um, or that I'd bought and I would just give, you know, that would go for the charity raffles and then some vendors and some modders and started sending on gear specifically and, and thank you so, so much to all of them. Um, I know it's supposed to be all about the, um, the numbers, the uh, subscriptions, subscribers you have and all that kind of bullshit. We don't really care. Um, at the end of the year, it's the, the number that matters is how much we've raised for charity. And I could not do it without those guys. So thank you very, very much. Um, yeah. Robert Perkins, wait, you do reviews. <laughs> you absolute bell end. Um, right. Um... Bogan does four plus hour build streams. Seriously? Four hours? Ah, I couldn't do that. I'm 51. My bladder couldn't keep up that long. Um, <laughs> really couldn't. It's the quality of subs, not the quantity. There you go. That's absolutely true. That's my excuse for not having any... I think I have the same number of subscribers that I had in... 2000 and... 15. <laughs> I don't think I've got any more. I don't think I've lost any more. I just seem to have the same number all the time. Who cares? Who Absolutely, who cares? Um, Slipping Happiness. Do you know that sounds like a track that the Beloved would have done? Slipping Happiness. I like that. Very cool. Um, what do you think about the Star Plat? Uh, I actually... I have one mod left with one of the first generation star plats. Uh, I used to really, really like them a lot. Uh, kind of sad that they didn't take off a lot more. Um, it's just really the the Ruskies that seem to use them. Am I allowed to say that Ruskies? If I offended somebody, sorry, uh, but yeah. My mesh builds take four hours plus. No, 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 that's wrong. Actually, that's true. Uh, right, so I've thanked mods and vendors. Uh, I never actually thanked you guys, but... <laughs> thank you for keep coming back. I don't know why you do, but thank you very, very much. It'd be very boring if you didn't. I'd have to talk to my wife and my dog more and... and do DIY around the house it's the only reason I do this is because it gets me out of doing work around the house I bet you Karen's watching this I was only joking anyway um, uh, Michael the Italians are using the star plot oh now that I never knew that I never knew um mm. um Matthew, what will it take to get you on the Bearded Viking show? <sighs> Good luck. Normally to get me on a show, it takes about a year, maybe two years worth of pestering me. Because I hate doing shows with a passion. I am, hands down, the most boring person you will ever meet or know. And, and, and yeah. I would have to get really drunk to do it. Sorry. It's not because I don't... My apologies. I've not watched your show 
Oh no, I did watch a show. You had Dean on it one time, didn't you? I remember watching it with Dean. Um, yeah, I'm really boring. Nobody would watch it. So, sorry. Um, just keep pestering me. Um, David Mortram's been a bit poorly. Poor David. We like David. We love you, David. It'd be really nice if everybody was just to say, David, we love you, get well soon. Because just to show you that we all care for you. <laughs> Such a dick. Uh, New Wave Dave, 169. Thank you for keeping me off the cigarettes. Um, congratulations to you for keeping yourself off the cigarettes, my friend. Uh, well done. I can... Seriously, I think we forget to say that to folk. I think I forget to say that to people because we're, we're, we're so, far, so far removed from people that are trying to stop or just switched over now. Um, we forget to congratulate people. Uh, yeah, Doug, uh, Karen watching this would be a, a shocker. It would be a shocker. Um, it's us who must thank you, Marissa. Thank you, Todd. Adrian, thank you. Um... <laughs> we watch this, our bar is set pretty low. That's <laughs> fair comment. Uh, Matt, yes, he had Dean on it. Uh, uh, David is a sick, sick man, not in the best of health either. <laughs> Auntie Ali, love you. Uh, uh, <laughs> only here because Vic is polishing his <laughs> I like knowing that I need to vape. Do you want to see? Do you want to see the, the jelly bean? Are you watching? You want one? You need one. LED lights in a mod. It's just the greatest invention ever. Uh, right. Uh, let's. Um, let's <laughs> Dominic, who is your favourite YouTuber apart from... I don't watch a lot of reviews. The only reviewers I watch are because I've watched them. Like Mr. Bissardo. I still watch his reviews um, because... He does them right. I don't like what he does now. He does so many pod systems and shit that I'm not interested in. But when he gets a hold of something old school type RTA and whatnot, I think he's brilliant. I think he's really good. Um, I watch Dean sometimes just because I like to support him because he needs the views and he needs the subs. So, uh, and um, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, yeah, obviously I watch Dean as well. Um, young Richard, watch Richard. And, and and that's really it. I don't even watch my own reviews. What can I tell you? I don't. I I hate editing my own reviews. Yes, I edit my reviews. Uh, not many people believe me when I say that. I hate watching my own. Uh, but that that's that's that. Um, <laughs> thanks, TJ, for keeping Mark upright and talking at the camera. Just this. He's actually not here. Um, I hate to say this, but he's um, he's in the house. He's in the house uh, because I have to keep the the door closed and because I was vaping, I didn't want to keep him in here tonight. Just yeah. Um, sorry, I'm trying to keep up with chat here. Um, which mod of yours has your favourite firing button? Uh, this is not this mod particular, but this position here is my one of my favourite positions. Uh, I will also say that this year, uh, one of my favourite buttons is this one on uh, the the grumpy old man uh, from Infinium, Herbie. Uh, that that switch up here, superb, just superb. Um, he's locked you in. <laughs> Don't watch the video. <laughs> You're all a shower. Of yeah, yeah. Um, Right, 
I'm going to go on to... <laughs> One thing I haven't mentioned. Holy shit. Um, I've got to do tanks. Tanks and RDAs. I've not mentioned them. Shit. Um, RDAs from this year. Oh, this is going to be so few. There's going to be lip gunk here. There's, there's... Damn! There's hardly any. There really is hardly any. What was the... the en No, the engine was last year. Uh, hang on, was the... When was the... When was the... Excuse me just a second. The re -wicked. The new re -wicked. Was that this year or last year? I can't remember. Anyway, right. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, this is bad. The only RDAs that I got this year and decided to keep were in no particular order. Don't look at the lip gunk. <laughs> Don't look at the lip gunk. Uh, the 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 one and only uh, Leon uh, by um, <laughs> by Gus Gus at AB Mods uh, put the lip gunk away. So that's one that we kept from this year. Um, yes, the Vandy vape, the Vandy vape, and by El Mono Vapador or whatever I remember his name. Uh, Jesus, is it or Joel? Or Jesus, I can't remember now. Shit, sorry. Uh, yes, uh, this I thought was superb. And um, I would recommend this to anybody. Uh, to be... Yeah, the, the Lego head. <laughs> um, what else? The, um, oh, this, 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 the, the, the five A's. Basic two. I'm sure this is this year. I'm sure this is this year. I really like this. I kept this. And... Um, oh! I'm actually... <laughs> I just remembered. I actually bought uh, a new top cap. And... I bought an engraved top cap. And bits for my uh, Strybog. Uh, from Norseum. I, I always pronounce that wrong. And, and uh, sorry... Had. I'm sorry, but uh, yes, um, I do love this a great deal. Cracking little bit of gear, um, and I can't remember if this was this year or not. The rewicked. I can't remember, but I kept that as well. Um, I I missed the hussar. The no, I've not I've not got a hussar. I've not got a Hussar. Uh, the only Hussar RDA I have is this one. And there's only four or five of them in existence. Um, I don't have a Hussar RDA from this this year. Uh, the duet, um, since it's you, <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Uh, Strybog, uh, best at 2020, it is a cracker, it, it is a cracker. Uh, Mike, show me the skyline with the cryptic again. No. Um, Requiem, Hussar, Hussar. I don't have a Hussar. Sorry. Um, the Haku do it. I've got about four of them. They're all prototypes. Can I say this? I don't think it's actually going to happen now. For different reasons. That that doesn't doesn't matter, but I don't think it's going to happen now. Um Uh Bobak uh Sabre twenty nineteen Sabre I can't remember the Cobra X I have no Hellfire Atties. Sorry, I've 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 no Hellfire Atties. Um they were the only RDAs from this year 
the only art that I kept. There were others, but, but they were the ones I kept. Um, right. The tanks, the RTAs that I kept from this year. I need more alcohol. I'm running out here. Oh, God. Do you know, this is why you should have other people on. So that they can talk and you, and you can just do nothing for a few minutes. Um, um, Mark, serious question. Do you have an RDA that really sticks out with flavour from the past three years and an RTA if you read this? Um, the ones I'm showing you. Uh, the ones that I'm keeping are the ones that stick out for me, basically. Um, right, tanks, tanks. Um, okay, so, um, the squape, or the arse, as we like, as we fondly call it, uh, the squape arise. Uh, this is the, the version 2.59. Um, and this is, it's just, I like it. Um, I like it even more now that they've got the restricted direct lung air discs out. Uh, it now vapes exactly the way I want it to vape. It gives me the flavour I want. It's a good RTA. Um, I also think that the Staquam guys are amongst the best in the game when it comes to Hopefully he's not here anymore because I hate to be nice about Chris when he's here. Uh, but they have a level of professionalism about what they do that uh, you don't see that much anymore. I, I, and by that I mean that they, they're everywhere. They're in the Facebook groups, they're in the forums, they'll talk to you, they'll they deal with customers face to face. All the, They're just sound and weird. Very weird. Um, in a good way. Um, right, so there was the Arise. What else did I keep? Oh, uh, yes, the, um, the Dwarf um, FL. DLFL. Uh, what is there to say? It was a facelift. It was a facelift version. It wasn't radically different from the previous version, but it's such a good tank. It's bloody noisy, and it's very old school, but it's it's strange. It's it's just everybody's looking for the latest and greatest thing that's radically different to everything else, and and, it's, and the dwarf is, and I don't mean this in a draw. I'm not, I'm not being mean when I say this. Dwarf is, is as basic as basic can be and I think that is why it is as successful as it is. That's almost why I stopped, for me, the K-Fun. The K-Fun early days, 3.1 and, and so on. Um, perfect. It was as good as you could get. It was a revelation in its day. It really was. And then it all went peak tong for me. It just went, they, they lost what made them great. They were trying to be so much different and better. And, and, and I think they just lost sight of what made the k so bloody good at the start. And that's kind of why I drifted away from the K-Funds. Because uh, I just didn't enjoy them. And that's what I kind of like about the Dwarf. It knows what it's good at. And it sticks with it. I didn't mean to say all that. It just came out. I've had too much Jack Daniels. Um, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I've not that many. I, I did keep the Pioneer uh, by BP Mods. The Pioneer. Which is a good RTA. Yes, the, the threading at the bottom is a little bit... It's a strange one. The review one I got, the threading at the bottom was perfect. Um, the one that I then bought afterwards... The, the threading with the stainless steel base into the tank, not so good. 
I still think it's a really good tank and, and I kept it. Uh, <laughs> the one that I just did a presentation for uh, was this little guy here. Um, the Skyline R. Now, um, <laughs> I don't know how I can say this. <laughs> I did a video for the Skyline R, and in that video, um, most people that know me know I get on very, very well with Vasily. I, 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 I love him to bits. Uh, he's such, he never shuts up, but he's brilliant and he's crazy and, and I love him for all these things. And obviously when he sends me something, um, you would think that I was just going to, I'll just say nice things about it all day long. Uh, but the points that I made in my video about certain things not lining up and the, the putting the top cap on wasn't as smooth as I would have liked it and you know there was things there that I commented on well this is this is how he works um, this was the original top cap you saw my video he messaged me straight away spoke about the top cap he said hang on a second the next day, a new top cap arrives. He'd run off to the machine shop, asked them to remachine it, adjust the tolerances just a tiny little bit, send it on, and the top cap is now perfect. It is now as smooth to go on as it is to adjust everywhere else. So that that and that's one of the reasons I love him to bits is because he's. To, to be fair, some mod makers are so far up their arse that if you were to say something like that to them, they would go in the huff and they would never speak to you again. A good mod maker listens to constructive feedback and makes their product better. Or ignores that feedback because it's just somebody talking shite. Um, but, so the Skyline R is obviously one I'll be keeping. Because there you go. Um, there's another Skyline. This was a new one this year as well. Uh, I did a review for that. Uh, this is the, the DLC uh, Skyline, which is it's very, very nice. Um, this one's okay. There are um, better tanks on the market. I wouldn't rush out and buy it. Um, it's, it's, it's Greek as well. And um, and it's made by a guy called Costas, and um, and there you go. Oh, and it's called Imperia. And it may or may not have got more votes for the best RTA for 2020 than the hard did, but I'm not bitter at all. It doesn't bother me. I'm very very happy for Costas and Greg and the guys. Well done. I love the Imperia. I think it's insane how much juice they get in that tank for the size of it. Um, it's tiny for the capacity. It is. It's a superb vape from it. There's a couple of things like any RTA that bug me slightly, but it still it deserves to to yeah. It's it's a good RTA. Um, and I've got one left. Which is the the Typhoon GX, which Oliver sent me on um, a pile of gear for it later on, the the different air discs and top caps and so on and so forth. Um, it's Oliver from Smoker Store. This is this this, I think the GX is a superb atty. I really do. Uh, I, I, I love it to bits. I use it an awful lot. An awful, awful lot. Um, 
Yes. And there's one more RTA that I did keep. <laughs> oh! Dennis! Holy shit! Where's it gone? There it is! It's so small, I forgot I had it here. <laughs> the, little, the little avatar! Oh damn, how could I forget that? Sorry, uh, so sorry. Uh, once again, made by two outstanding guys, uh, really nice guys. The the machining in this was actually done, I was, I'm not, very surprised, um, but yes, superb, absolutely superb. Uh, Dimiti says the Imperia is Greek. It's an Italian product. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll send the guys a message and ask them if, um, if it's an Italian product. Who knows? Right, here we go. The Har. RTA by MT Essentials and Van and Dale. Um, what can I tell you? Um, I'm not going to go on about it much because I'm involved with it. I'm very, very proud of it. I'm very, very lucky to be in the situation I am where I could work with Vanya and Sasha. And we, we made this. I use it. I'm proud of it. And I'm eternally grateful to everybody that bought one. That's it. That's all I can really say. I could talk for hours about it, how chuffed I am. Um, hang on, I've got to get a bit of blue roll because it's, it's it's leaking from the bottom there, so I'm just going to dry my hands. Um, the, Adrian, you're, Adrian, you never miss a bloody trick, do you? You never do. You, um, yes, you're absolutely right. It is the drip tip from... The, the Aries 2. It's a superb drip tip. It really is. I, I love it. Uh, it's a lot better than the drip tip that came with the har. <laughs> Shouldn't say that. Um, no, I, a hand on heart. It's, it's, it's something I said I would never ever do. Am I sorry that I did it? No. I'm still glad I did it. I would never ever have done it any other way than working with a, a, a mod making company if you like you know not getting into not doing something with a spy or Duffpo or, or that kind of stuff but working with people that have been in the business longer than I have um, and know their shit inside out uh, I consider myself very lucky to be able to get into bed with them. And the fact that they let me... The fact that Sasha hasn't told me to feck off... Actually, that's a lie. He, I'm pretty sure he has several times. Anyway, so yes, thank you for all your support with the har and uh, the brand. And we may, depending on things... Um, may have something in 2021 as well. Um, so there we go. Um, <laughs> just look. Uh, right. Um, would you work with a Greek on your next project? No, I would, uh, to be honest, uh, I wouldn't work now. I wouldn't work with anybody else apart from Vanya and Sasha. 
unless the Germans came along because the, the Germans are so easier to work with. I'm telling you, working with Slavs, Croatians, it's a fucking nightmare. I mean, if they're not pissed, they're they're cutting up animals and roasting them and or or just posting shit on the internet all day long. They're terrible. Never get into business with Croatians. Shocking. <laughs> Right, um, and also, um, there's another thing: the the, the piss taking, the, the 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 constant ribbon about stuff relating to the har and other ratties with other mod makers has been a highlight of the year as well. It's been so much fun; absolutely loved it. Uh, now, what have we got left? Uh, um, I, I, I think I'm almost done. Um, I think I'm done. I think... Um, questions. No, questions. I had I had the questions, didn't I? Um, which we'll, we'll try and rattle through uh, some more of them very, very quickly. Um, uh, Nelson, the top three best. I don't do top three anything. Um, Matt Armitage, if vaping was outlawed, to, outlaw, outlawed tomorrow, my bad, <laughs> outlawed tomorrow, what would you like to review? Obviously, cars. Actually, it would just be car. It would be something to do with cars because, yeah, that would be my other passion is cars. I just love them to bits. Um, um, uh, do, 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 do a live stream with Rebuildable Ryan, says Ryan Adams. <laughs> I've got to, I have to answer this one. This one is from uh, Russell Blair, who I believe is Scottish um, and bald. Um, on the scale of zero, just an annoying prick, to ten, weapons grade TikTok up his own arse wanker, where does John Martin land? <laughs> Where does John Martin land? Well, I can tell you, hand on heart, after a year of John finding TikTok, sending me songs with him singing to me with a cardboard box in his hand, he's a weapons grade TikTok up his own arse. And I wouldn't have him any other way. I love him to bits. And I think he's sound as a pound. I really enjoy that. John, you know I love you, and I would do anything for you. Anything. Uh, right. Um, question from Chris Bishop. Do you know Scott Chegg? No, Mr. Bishop. I don't know anybody called Scott Chegg. But I will have a look in my Facebook profile and see if anybody turns up. Uh, Ash says, what's your longest standing RDA you still have in rotation? Uh, it would be it will be the Narda five years It'll be the Narda um, yeah it's the Narda unless you count the oh 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 it might not be the Narda holy shit holy crap it might not be do you know what? Um, oh, it's not. The oldest RDA I have still and still vape with. The 454 Big Block RDA came out. I, I reviewed it on the 21st of August 2014. And it was out before that. Uh
Yeah, that was before. Holy crap. Yeah, the 454 is, is, is the one that I've had the longest. But that's with a squonking pin in it. Um, I still think it's a really good RDA with the squonking pin. Anyway. Uh, Coil Imperia is an Integra with better airflow and wicking. Uh, Bob, any old Jennies from back in the day you really miss? Um, if you're talking about Jennies, as in this kind of Jenny, I got this from a lovely man, uh, which that's why it sits on a shelf, because I love it. Remember the juggernaut? Um, uh, sorry, I was about to go off in one there. Um, any old... Genesis Ates? No, there, there's none. Uh, I've been brutally honest. I've moved on. I actually bought this year... Uh, I got all the, the mesh and uh, the wire and everything from uh, Carlson. And uh, to, to get back into Jenny's and whatnot. And I've done two builds, which took me some time, but I got them perfect. Um, it's just, I personally, I, I vape dessert flavours, so for me, there, it's, it's, it's just not that great. It's not for me. And the faff, um, nah. I mean, Rick, I mean, I never, I never hated mesh. Um, I mean, that's the thing. All I vaped for years was mesh. I mean, I've been doing this for about nine years, and so mesh was all I did for a very, very long time. But things have moved on, in my opinion, and things certain things are better. And I think I know people, there are people that love mesh. That's great. We all have our own thing, our niche. Uh, but for me, it's not mesh. Um, right. Why am I dancing with my head? I have no idea. Um, uh, Pino, hi from Australia. Hope everybody is doing well. We're all doing great. Um, Leslie, what's your favourite dessert flavour from 2020? It's a vanilla custard. There we go. Uh, Dominic, this video has been on for nine years now. Thank you very much. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm just going to just jump over and... Uh, uh, is squonking dead? No, squonking isn't dead. Squonking will come back. Um, side by side, uh, 2020 was the big thing. What do you think will be the thing in 2021? <sighs> Something that was really popular five years ago. That's kind of how it works, isn't it? We had the 18350s came back, mouth to lung came back, side by side came back, squonking came back. Um, all this has happened before and shall happen again. Battlestar Galactica. Uh, right. Let's, let's... Um... <laughs> okay. Sorry if I don't call out the names. Um... How to do calibration in a Dicos 21700. Uh, would you please share with us the whole process of temperature coefficient? I'd rather die in hell. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, is there a secret to longer lasting wicking in RTAs? Yes, the juice. Um, it's all about juice, in my humble opinion. Use juice that doesn't destroy your cotton. Uh, um, David Mottram, temperature control is not coming back. Never, ever. You're all, you're all just going to. There's going to be five of you. I know there's only five people in the world that like temperature control, and you all live in the same house, and you're all huddled around a candle at night, and yeah. Moving on. Um. Why can't I build an, an RTA without it leaking? Find somebody that does know how to build it and and listen to them. Uh, 
Actually, if you're asking me that, I feel pretty bad because if you've watched me wicking and do it, watch my reviews and you still can't build an RTA without it leaking, I really do suck. <laughs> I really do suck. Um, do you think the vaping community is getting stronger or is it more and more falling off the vaping scene and going back to cigarettes? I see, I see. I don't believe, right, that you know, I mean, the thing is, most people that I, I assume most people that are in chat here are, um, are adults and uh, don't blindly follow people just because they're on YouTube or the internet and things like that. You know, you can do your own reasoning. Um, if you are one of these people that blindly follow people on the internet, then then go away now. Um, anyway, um, there's so many subgroups on the internet for vaping. There are people and groups not far removed from the groups I'm already in. I have no idea about. I know nothing about them. And they will be doing much the same as what we do in our groups and whatnot. But we all live in these little bubbles and don't necessarily talk to one another or know one another. Um, I don't think the community is dying as such. I don't think the community that I'm involved with or part of is dying. Hell, we, we raised more money last year than we've ever done uh, for charity, this year for charity, which is amazing. Um, I, you get out what you put in. So if that sounds a bit condescending or a bit like old man, uh, you know, Padawan, listen to me, I'm going to tell you something worthwhile. I'm really sorry, but you get out what you put in. Find the right group of people, the right community, and uh, you'll have a blast. I have laughed more this year through vaping and Zoom and, and so on than I've ever done. It's been brilliant in some respects. Um... How do you feel that Vasily from ESG is literally letting you sell or not sell the Skyline R? Depending on your review depends on whether people buy something or not. Do I feel any pressure from this? Um, I'm trying to understand that question. I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm maybe a bit naive. I don't believe that I sell anything. I hopefully don't sell anything. Um, I just give my, my opinion as I see it. It doesn't matter. I mean, uh, Vasily sent me on the skyline to show off to people. There wasn't a proper review, but I still gave negatives on it. Even though he's, I would call him a close friend, uh, I still gave negatives. And I will always do that. I'll always give positive and negative feedback, no matter how good we get on. Uh, because that would be unfair on the people that are watching my videos. And at the end of the day, the, that's the most important thing. I always look upon it like... Um, if my dad was to take up vaping and say, go and do a video for me on something and tell me if it's, if it's shit or not. That's how I approach every video in that manner, is that I'm, I'm giving my honest feedback on it. Simple as that. So, yeah, there was a point there. I can't remember what it was. It's gone. It's just gone. Um, nah, I don't know if I'm, oh God, I can't see this. <laughs> I'm, not good. I'm not ready for that. Um, I'm gonna, if, I, if I didn't do this now, then I will possibly try and avoid doing this. Um, where's where, Barry? What have you done with them? 
Oh, they're not on here. Oh, they're on your other page. Ash. Biscuits. Um, I'm trying to find a picture. Sorry, there we go. Here we go. Right. Um, to a, a lot of you, this will mean nothing. But uh, when we're talking about community and so on and so forth, uh, this is just an example of um, what I see. Um, so, uh, there was a young man called Ian, or Batch, as we later found out. <laughs> he was a miserable old bastard. <laughs> he was a cantankerous old so-and-so. Uh, and he was, um, we in our Facebook group, we started up Zoom uh, when lockdown first came in and uh, we got together every day and we blethered and Ian was one of the guys that dialed in and chewed the fat. Unfortunately, he passed away um, in his favourite pub doing the f his most favourite thing under the sun which was drinking and taking the piss out of people because he did that very, very well. Uh, so the guys and guys and girls in the Facebook group got together, raised a shit ton of money we got a picnic table for, put in his favourite uh, pub with an uh, uh, engraving on it. We commissioned uh, Barry Miller uh, to do this portrait of Ian as well. And we send on, sent on some cash as well to Kaz, his good lady. Um, I think I might have just closed down my stream. Please tell me I didn't. No, it's still there. Um, yeah. Bollocks. Arse. Questions. I need to move on. I've, I've shut my questions down. <laughs> questions. Here we go. Let's find some more. Um, Ian would appreciate it if I've just moved on because showing any kind of sentiment would... Uh, he would just call me a, a fanny. Uh, and, and that would be that but god damn miss him um, right other questions um, here we go Jim Dom and Bishop snog marry kill who's it going to be well Jim I'm terribly sorry but being from Dundee I would have to kill you uh, Dominic I can't do that. That's just so wrong. Anyway, uh, more hard questions. Uh, 24 mil RTE making it shorter without losing juice capacity. No, um, it'll never happen. There will never be a 24 millimeter hard RTE because Sasha and Vanya would rather burn in hell before they did anything in 24 millimeters because it goes against some kind of religion where they're from to do anything over 22 millimeters. So, uh, did you enjoy the holidays with the missus? Yes, very much so. Uh, very much so. Uh, will you ever get sick of telling the story about Dominic nearly burning his house down? Never. Never, ever, ever. I'm not going to tell it. Um, how much carbon fibre vinyl do you have in your possession? Reams of it. I actually have a massive roll of carbon fibre still in the garage. Um and I, I'm going to stop. I have to stop. I can't keep doing this. I'm absolutely bloody knackered. Um, two hours. Oh. Thank you. Um, to all of you. Um, for your continued support over this year and over the previous years however long you've been watching the channel um thank you for not giving in and dragging yourself through the shit and getting involved with drama and crap and all that jazz um there's no need to there's just no need to uh, if you have to badmouth another soul on this planet to make yourself look better or to gain from it then you're a uh, you're a poor soul and a sad individual. Um, here endeth the lesson. But thank you so, so much for uh, joining in. And um, 
And Mike, I know I haven't, I can't, I can't answer any more questions. I'm really, really sorry. Um, I have to, I have to go because I'm just, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> and um, and talking for this long is just not natural to me. Um, Bazinga, Rob Fisher, you glorious, glorious man, you. Um, <clears throat> There we go. Um, I hope 2021 is a far better year. I hope that I get to meet up with many of you in the new year and have a coffee or a drink or two and chew the fat and um, and and it's just a more social year next year than this year. Um, but uh, if you come along and you continue to watch the videos, I would appreciate it. Uh, you don't have to, you don't have to like them, you don't have to subscribe and you really, really do not have to hit that notification bell. Uh, but um, thank you very, very much. I'm going to hit the stop button now because I'm just wasted. Can't find the stop button.